What's up for October? A total lunar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse, and Mars meets a comet. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston-Jones from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Mars and Comet Sighting Spring are moving closer to each other this month. On October 19th, the comet and the planet pass within 81,000 miles of one another. You may be able to spot the comet leading up to and after the 19th, but from the U.S., you'll need an unobstructed view of the south-southwestern horizon just after sunset. Try spotting Mars first. It's to the upper left of the orange star Antares near the horizon at about 7.30 p.m. local time. Then use your binoculars to scan for the comet. Even through amateur telescopes, comet sighting spring may be just too faint to see. Even if it's not visible at your location, the comet will be visible to our missions currently at Mars, and we hope to get back images. Set your alarm clock for an after-midnight wake-up on the morning of October 8th. The Moon enters Earth's deep shadow for the second lunar eclipse of the year at 2.15 a.m. on the west coast of North America. That's 5.15 on the east coast. The total phase will begin at 3.15 a.m. on the west coast or 6.15 on the east coast. Two weeks later from North America, a partial solar eclipse will be visible in the late afternoon. On the east coast, the sun sets before the eclipse reaches its maximum, but observers will see a dramatic partial eclipse. The deepest eclipse, where the moon's silhouette extends nearly all the way across the sun, will be visible far to the north in the Canadian Arctic. On the west coast, the dark silhouette will cover about half the sun in the late afternoon. The eclipse is not visible in Maine, Massachusetts, or Rhode Island. Remember, never look directly at the sun during an eclipse or any time. You can learn more about solar and lunar eclipses at eclipse.gsfc.nasa.gov. And you can learn all about Comet Sighting Springs Encounter with Mars at mars.nasa.gov slash comets slash sighting spring. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston-Jones.